So it's interesting, like, we, we both have, I mean, at least part of what we're playing is these kind of chaotic instruments, like, where our role inside the instrument is less of a kind of deliberate decision maker and more kind of like an influencer. Like, there's a thing happening and you can kind of, like, push it in directions. Um... And it, it, in your setup, I mean, I don't know everything that you're doing, but, you know, there's a few things that I, I kind of understand and, like, I'm aware that there are these kind of more systemic things that you can kind of nudge along. And here, I mean, it's an instrument that I've played, I mean, it's not a huge amount of time with it, but I'm comfortable enough with it that I can kind of do some stuff, but there's parts of it, like the code that's running on it, that are still kind of a little unknown to me or respond in ways that I'm kind of unclear of. But it kind of, it's an interesting thing to navigate that playing with someone else. So like having influence over a system, playing with someone who also has influence over a system and where these things kind of interact. Like, I don't know what you're... Like. Yeah, actually it's funny, it's funny that you were saying that because what I felt now playing, I picked up two things that I didn't use for so, quite some time. This thing, just like the circuit of a radio, just making contacts with the fingers and the no input mixer. Mm. Actually, this one, I don't know what, what when was the last time that I picked this thing up. I just had it and I just thought, yeah, let's use it. Mm -hmm. And that's, I didn't remember, oh, how oh, did I patch it? <laughs> I just did something. And when I felt playing, because like you have this randomness happening, even when you're pretty comfortable uh, when you have this kind of stuff, it's, mm. there is always some degree of randomness, some degree of some what you cannot control, and what I felt, especially now because I I spent some time not using this, I was struggling many times. Fuck. No, it was <laughs> not this, and then I was all all the time fighting with the instrument with with the sound, and may I felt that that influenced me and I felt like I was fighting with you also. <laughs> so yeah. anything that you play I was like I want to uh, counterpoint him I don't want to go his direction I don't want to play with him I want to yeah. play against him I, I don't know why but then now you were saying those things and I was correlating with his relationship with the instrument maybe it influenced me maybe not I'm just I know I felt this yeah. now I don't know why yeah I mean, and and saying so, like with an instrument like this, when you're, I mean, it depended of like like the playing with each other, but when you're playing with an instrument that is a little chaotic, or you know, a little random or a little uncontrollable, um, is it something that you feel that you want more control while you're playing it, or are you happy with a level of like have you chosen instruments like this because they're chaotic, or have you chosen instruments like this because they sound a certain way? And you're fighting against the chaos. I, I think it's um, a sum of some of those aspects. Mm. I like the chaotic part. I sometimes like that they disobey me. <laughs> I like the very unique sounds that they make. But there, there is a balance between this. I don't want them to be completely random because if that was the case then I would just get like a big red button <laughs> that every time I press like a random sound yeah. would appear and that's not the case so I, I think I want a balance mm. between that so, so yeah I would really like the that uh, uh, chaos that you yeah. are speaking of but at a certain until a certain degree yeah yeah yeah, I feel the same because like growing up as like an instrumentalist, part of like what you do is you kind of you try to get better at something and you try to like the the idea of like you have an idea in your head and it comes out of your hands and it goes out, you know, like that sort of poetic notion of it. But I think for me a lot of what's exciting in, in playing some of these instruments is that is is fighting the the kind of instrument to a certain sense, like where you don't it, it's like having like a dog that's a little crazy which I have dogs in there a little crazy. Like, I don't want them to listen to what I say because what, you know, what fun is that? Like, you want you want a little bit of that tension, a little bit of that friction. So I think, for me, I kind of view it in a similar way where um, yeah, it's an instrument and system, but, like, if, if I could control it, I wouldn't like it as much, you know? And then it's kind of interesting, like, the sort of the... Um, 
duet playing, particularly something like this, like we're both doing electronics and like only electronics really just coming out of speakers. We're coming out of different sets of speakers, which is useful for us to mm -hmm. hear the difference in what we're doing. But um, yeah, they're quite violent sounds. And then the, like that idea of playing against each other and not necessarily being on the same page and having um, a conversation that isn't just two people agreeing with each other which can make for a kind of a boring conversation. It's like, oh, I like apples. Oh, I like apples too. Oranges, yeah, the oranges are great. You know, and like, and like we just sit here agreeing. But that could be also a great conversation. <laughs> yeah. I just don't like apples. That's <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Let's play a little more. Sure. <laughs>
Thank <laughs> you.